Hello, this is Greg Bem, one of the Spokane Community College librarians. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate accessing and using Academic Search Complete, which is an EBSCO database and one of the most popular databases at this college. From the SCC Library homepage, click on A to Z databases to be taken to this screen. Scroll down just a little bit and you'll see Academic Search Complete listed. Click on the title and it will take you to a new tab. This is the EBSCO host interface, the advanced search screen. We will note at the top, the EBSCO search bar has a variety of options. You can do a new search, you can browse publications, you can see subject terms, and so on. On the right, you can sign in or create a free EBSCO account, access your folder, which has a variety of saved resources available and other helpful links, including to Research Help 24 7 through the SCC Library. Beneath the blue EBSCO bar, we will see the interface for EBSCO Host. Note that it tells you that you are searching in a specific database. If you click Choose Databases, it will provide a list of all of the EBSCO databases on one screen, and you can select other databases as well if you want to expand or limit your search. Let's leave Academic Search Complete as the only selected database for this demonstration. Beneath the databases, you will see the advanced search bars here. The multiple search bars allow for simple keyword searching, as well as Boolean operators and additional keyword phrases as needed. If you don't like using the advanced search screen because it's too overwhelming or for another reason, you can always click on basic search and that will take you to this screen, which is the basic search screen. The advanced search screen has a variety of options listed underneath the search bars that can allow you to filter in advance before you get your initial search results. This can help with being mindful and intentional around what you're searching for and what you're hoping to get. Some that I'd like to point out in this demonstration include full text, peer review, document type, and also the publication date. Those are probably the most common filters used within EBSCO and other databases. Let's leave everything unchecked and unselected for the purpose of inclusivity today and do a search for poetry. I can select a field that I want to search in, including title and others, but for now I'm going to leave it open just to show the full range of results for this search on poetry. When I click search, it will open a new screen in the same tab, and we will notice that there are 117,000 results for poetry. Note also that when you do a search, you may be provided with an autocorrect. And that autocorrect may or may not be helpful in this case. We did not mean poverty, so we can ignore that. The middle of the screen shows all of the search results, and the left-hand side of the screen shows our filters. The filters include much of what we saw in the advanced search screen, including full text, peer-reviewed, publication date, and so on. But there are some additional options that you might find useful as well and I highly recommend exploring the filters as you're narrowing your search. Within the search results in the middle of the screen, we will see the title of the source, the type of the source listed underneath an icon that represents the type of the source, author and publication information, subject information and descriptions, and direct links to full text as available. In this case, we have HTML full text and PDF full text for this first source, the second source only PDF full text. Note that it may vary, and some sources might not have any full text, in which case you would have to do an interlibrary loan. The search results occasionally also have video results, as videos show up in various articles and as individual sources themselves and also related images for visual learners or for folks who are looking for visual material 
I recommend keeping an eye on the video and image results that it recommends. If we scroll down, let's take a look at what is poetry from an academic journal called Midwest Quarterly. I'm going to click on the title for this result, and it will take me to the record screen. On this screen, we can see a lot of information about this particular source, including who wrote it, where it was published, the different subject terms used to describe it, and the abstract, which gives a summary of this source. Importantly, and in addition, there are tools on the right-hand side of the record screen that can allow me to manipulate and utilize this source in a variety of ways. I can save it to a variety of places. I can print it and email it to myself. I can also use the citation generator to create a citation in a variety of different formats, including APA, Chicago, and MLA. There's also the permalink, which is very important when saving this or using it in your references list. Note that the permalink will last, whereas the link in your browser will not. Clicking on the full text PDF link will open up this article directly in EBSCO's viewer. Note that I can still download the PDF. There is a download icon on the upper bar here. But EBSCO's viewer is also quite helpful too. It allows to browse based on whether the article or the source has OCR, in which case I can look at the various sections of this piece. I can also browse to other issues of this journal. And if I want to, I can scroll and read this directly in the browser. That sums up an overview of the EBSCO Academic Search Complete database. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to the SCC librarians. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and take care.